The opportunity that exists in Kazakhstan today is like having all of Western Australia available to peg, but in the 1970s. Uh, the size of the country is almost exactly the same as Western Australia. The mineral law, which changed in 2018, is based on Western Australia's. And the operating mines that are here today are both high grade and highly profitable. Eastar Resources is a gold and copper explorer focused on Kazakhstan. We've been granted uh, four exploration licenses of more than 1,400 square kilometres in two very mineral rich belts. Kazakhstan has near perfect conditions for mining. The new mineral law introduced in 2018 has had time to take effect. It has very well established logistics, very low energy prices and low labour costs and the majors are coming back into the country. The real opportunity here is that you have large areas next to world-class mines available to peg on first come, first serve. I mean, you're surrounded by you know, established players, uh, Glencore's in country, Polymetal, Rio Tinto, Fortescue's just entered. Um, there are lots of operators here doing incredibly exciting exploration. It attracts international finance from for foreign credit agencies and the EBRD. The management are based permanently on the ground here in Kazakhstan. Um, that helps ensure a very high quality of work. It lowers our costs. It speeds up our access to data and new projects and definitely gives us a first mover advantage to secure new land packages. All of our projects have large mine potential but without large mine requirements. The existing infrastructure and operating costs here mean that there's a very low economic threshold for development. And to give you an idea of that, uh, open pit mining costs can be as little as a dollar a tonne. There are two licences in the Chuili Orogenic Gold Belt. The one to the north is Atmintas. It has three areas with already known very high grade gold mineralisation with the potential for, for one plus million ounce deposits. And we expect to find more undercover there. Downey licence to the south has gold and copper potential with very high grade copper entrenching in several locations and, uh, and large geophysics and geochemical anomalies with, with very little to no drilling. Our Rudney Altai licences are in the east of Kazakhstan and there we're targeting volcanic massive sulphide style mineralisation like the existing operating mines. This is very high grade uh, copper, zinc, lead, gold and silver. Our licences have power lines and rail running right through the middle of the tenements and there are two very hungry mills close by. The historic work has been trenching, sampling, uh, limited geophysics and limited drilling and more recently uh, we have flown magnetics, more than 700 square kilometres of magnetics over both the Dalny and Atmintas licences. We've also completed 3,127 metres of drilling on the Atmintas licence. These are the samples from 3,127 metres of RC drilling conducted on our Atmintas licence in September. The drilling program was designed to confirm uh, gold mineralization in the shallow structures where the historical reports demonstrated very high grade of gold uh, in rock chips, soil chambling, trenches and some drilling. Uh, like this shows that we intersected uh, the target structures in many of the drill holes. Then we're going to send it uh, to the lab here in Karaganda. What's ESTAR's strategy from here? Um, firstly, we need to understand the exploration upside of, of primarily both Atmintas and Dalny for hopefully a quick decision on either moving to mining as quickly as possible or drilling out a more significant resource base, potentially both. So expect plenty of drilling in 2022. Um, we also intend on growing our tenement package by pegging new areas. We're hoping to do joint ventures with uh, partners to explore new areas and so that's going to lead to plenty of news flow uh, and hopefully exploration upside without the capital expenditure. We're looking at models like Independence Group with the discovery of Tropicana, Greatland Gold with Haviron, Mariana Resources with Hot Madden. Would be nice models to re replicate. In terms of news catalysts investors can expect to have over the next 12 months, well, firstly, there's the drill results from the more than 3,000 metres of drilling we did in September. Um, we also expect to have rigs operating throughout most of 2022 to, to continue to target these new areas and keep that news flow coming. The more than 700 square kilometres of mag that we flew also in September um, will be released and that will give us a very good idea of the size of the structures that we have and also give us some new targets uh, undercover where more than 60% of our Atmintas licence is. 
And lastly, we hope to have both farm-ins and farm-out opportunities for some of these new areas that, that we've been discussing. How big is this opportunity? Uh, I mean, it's huge. Um, I've relocated my family here to Kazakhstan as I believe this represents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for value creation. This is like being able to peg Western Australia but in the 1970s with good data available once you know how to get it and, and how to interpret it. I firmly believe that East Star will be exposed to more than one commercial discovery within the next few years.